Hey everyone, welcome back to e Learning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So I know you guys have seen the thumbnail, you guys have seen the title, and you are really excited for this video because this is going to be about the roadmap 2022 for data science. Yes, the hottest profile in the big data market. Why I am saying that data science is the hottest profile in the industry because data is the new oil of the industry nowadays. Every single enterprise is heavily, heavily dependent on data-driven business decisions. Their growth is dependent on it. Whether it is the small start. Up, whether it is the mid-sized company or even any tech giant like Fang, because they are actually using data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence to build some really cool products to observe customer behavior. And based on customer behavior, they are making a lot of money. And nowadays, we all know the startup scene in India. Like in 2020, 2021, India produced so many unicorn startups which are working in typical data-intensive applications, data-intensive use cases. So that more data is involved, that means more job opportunities for these hot profiles like data science and machine learning engineer. And this is the kind of job profile if you have the right skill set on a very easy basis you can start your career with average salary 10 lakhs per annum and if you have a solid understanding of important skill sets then you can even earn 40 lakhs to 50 lakhs per annum such a crazy compensation in data science profile i must say and i'm pretty sure this roadmap will help all the aspiring data scientists or even working professionals who are trying to move into the data science domain because in my 5 years experience of big data i have worked on different different big data use cases different data products and along with that i have worked with different top notch data scientists as well so that's why whatever roadmap video i have created that is purely based on their experience so make sure to watch this video till the very end because i know how relevant this roadmap is going to be for you in order to help the big data community you need to like this video in a really really big number and if you feel that something is missing from this roadmap video and if you want to add something in it then make sure to put it in the comment section and if you are someone who is watching any of my video for the very first time then make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon all right guys so here is our amazing data science roadmap for 2022 and it is covering most of the most of the things which is required in the data science and to make your life easy i have listed down the things in the sequential manner so that you don't get confused with multiple things at a time and let me simplify this roadmap for different audience with different level of experience so if you are completely new to big data data science and you are just starting then like this roadmap is a go to resource for you you need to start everything from the scratch from the zeroth level so starting from the programming point till the last thing right you need to cover all the things for sure like to get a good expertise in the data science skill sets but if you have a fairly a uh, good idea about at least these basic concepts the programming dsa databases sql linux etc then you can target this section mostly like starting from the big data fundamentals dashboarding mathematics statics and till this feature engineering point So let's say you are someone who uh, have a even fair understanding of the uh, big data part as well dashboarding then your prime focus uh, should be core data science skill sets which will in involve this mathematics probability the machine learning algorithms deep learning algorithms and these things you can even quickly jump onto those uh, section of the videos where i am explaining these things and while explaining each topic given in this data science roadmap video i will also talk about the free resources which you can defer in order to get the basic understanding of uh, these topics but if you want me to create a very detailed video where i can talk about some very very extensive list of resources for each topic and also some of the really top notch top notch courses then let me know in the comment section as soon as i will get so many comments let's say more than 50 plus comments i will drop that video within a week so just comment down quickly and get that video as soon as possible so the first and most obvious thing is the programming but let's see what kind of languages we need to cover uh, as a programming in data science so only two things python or r these two type of languages you can actually use in the data science field and in the python what all things you need to cover basics of python and this is common for any of the language whenever you learn a new language you will first definitely cover its basic syntax related thing how to declare and how to initialize the things then it's important and primitive non primitive kind of data types like uh, list set tuples dictionaries because these will be something which will hold your data and then like how to write the functions the object oriented programming concepts and some really really important libraries for the data exploration data manipulation that is numpy pandas matplotlib seaborn and next in the r like similar to python like its basics and its basic data structures like vector list data frame array matrix function and next thing which is again most obvious the data structures and algorithm and yes it is definitely required because 
uh, something you need to code for sure. Uh, your uh, fundamentals about DSA should be really, really good. And the good part is that the level of coding questions is not going to be like the SD levels. So don't make it complicated. Actually, you need to focus on these kind of typical data structures like arrays, string, link list, dynamic programming. And even based on my interview experience, I didn't even face any such type of questions related to trees, graphs, and any complex data structures. Similarly, typical algorithms like searching, sorting. So that's why I mentioned the till the medium level if you are covered. That's good. Understanding of the databases, all its basics, concepts, which you have read in even your college curriculum, just revise it. Those will be the part of your day to day activities. And based on the use cases, sometimes you'll be working on transactional databases like MySQL, Postgres, and sometimes like NoSQL DB, MongoDB, Cassandra. Next is the SQL. And this is something which is really, really powerful in the big data profiles and will have a really, really great weightage in the interviews as well. So you have to be really good on the basics part of SQL, the medium part or the moderate part of SQL and also the analytical advanced aspects of SQL as well. So I have mentioned the things again, all basics for sure you need to cover in the SQLs most often use things like the joins, group by subqueries, nested subqueries, case when statements, lookups and the window function, which is again, very, very much important. And in order to cover these basic topics, at least you can find some really good free resources as well. And even for databases and SQL, I can suggest the YouTube channel named as gate smashers and another YouTube channel named as the programming with Mosh. So they have a very, very rich content, like freely available and very long hour videos, which you can refer free resource, which you can follow. That is the course hubs provided by scalar. And here you can see, right? The data structures tutorial are here. You can refer it and Python tutorials are here. You can refer it and also the DBMS related tutorials are here. And along with that, every week Scalar used to conduct such kind of free master classes as well, where you can learn data structures, algorithm, and also SQL, no SQL related things. And these master classes are completely free. Again, I repeat completely free. So make sure every week you are following these free master classes and these master classes will be taken by top engineers working in top tech companies. And the next thing which you need to cover is basically good grip on Linux command, because most of the times you will be working on such kind of clusters and systems where you need to be good at the Linux uses how to run different different commands on these kind of servers and systems and next the code versioning systems like the Git, GitHub, Bitbucket, you need to be really good at it as well. And the next thing is the big data fundamentals. And this is also quite obvious because you are working on big data related use cases. So your fundamentals should be really clear about the big data. And here what actually things you need to cover the distributed computation, understanding of it, distributed storage, different kind of file format and the kind of popular tech frameworks which are available in big data ecosystems like Hadoop, Hive, Spark, Fling and many more. And in order to deep dive into the big data fundamentals, you can follow the blogs written on website named as data flare and also there is one more site guru99.com and even you can buy a really good book named as big data fundamentals by O'Reilly publication dashboarding is something which you can also explore and here are some popular dashboarding tools which are available in the market like tabulu power bi clicksense i don't know how many of you like it but since if you are an aspiring data scientist this is something which you need to focus a lot a lot i mean say so mathematics here uh, linear algebra analytics geometry matrix density estimation classifications and the next topic is probability and here the things you need to cover like random variables joint probability distribution discrete distribution within that like binomial bernoulli geometric continuous distributions like uniform exponential gamma normal distribution probability is also something which is really important in order to master some of the complex machine learning algorithm now let's talk about the next one which is statistics this is also something which is the important part of the machine learning things so here like random sampling sampling distribution simple linear regression multiple regression statical quality control basic graphs and non-parametric statistics, sign rank test, rank sum test, uh, Kruskal's Wallis test. And in order to understand the typical concepts of mathematics, probability and statistics related to data science, then you can follow some of the really good lecture series available on YouTube by NPTEL. And also you can find a really good book named as Introduction to Linear Algebra by Gilbert Strang, one of the mathematics professor at MIT. Now the fundamental part, again, the core of the data science, that is the machine learning, supervised learnings and unsupervised supervised learnings within supervised it can be in two parts the regression and the classification within the regression there are some typical kind of algorithms which you need 
to cover like linear regression, regression trees, polynomial regression. And in the classification, you need to cover random forest, decision trees, logistics regression, super vector machines, the clustering and association. So in the clustering, you need to cover partitioning clustering, density based clustering, distribution model based clustering, k nearest neighbors or KNN uh, clustering algorithms. Within the association, you need to cover three things, a priori algorithm, eclat algorithm, FP growth algorithms, the data exploration, machine learning models, model validations, their conditions like uh, overfitting and underfitting and concepts like handling missing value and apart from that handling categorical variables and data leakage kind of concept and for typical machine learning, deep learning, NLP related things, you can follow the YouTube lectures by God itself, like the God of ML, which is Andrew NG. So their lectures are definitely available on the YouTube channel named as Stanford online. So again, you can follow these weekly free master classes by Scalar and every week there will be master classes related to these machine learning data science topics. So this is one of the master class example where they covered most important case study in the data science machine learning, like how credit card companies prevent frauds using machine learning. And the next topic is deep learning. So which will be like related to neural networks and training the neural networks for the structural data. And within the deep learning things, you need to cover like artificial neural network, their understanding how it works, uh, convolution neural network, recurrent neural network frameworks, right, which are actually meant to do these deep learning related things. So popular like TensorFlow, KRS, PyTorch, then other concepts like single neuron, overfitting and underfitting and binary classification related concepts. And the next topic is the natural language processing, which you can say NLP as well. And this is a very, very common use cases in, in the modern tech industry where you see the uh, really great products like Alexa series, right, which heavily depend on the text to speech, speech to text. So NLP is something where uh, you have the use cases where you actually need to work on the uh, textual or raw textual data. So there uh, you need to actually cover these two kinds of concepts in the NLP section that is the text classification and the word vectors and last but not the least in the data science domain that is feature engineering. Feature engineering is basically to discover most effective way to improve your machine learning model. So let's look at what all things you need to cover in feature engineering, uh, concept of baseline modeling, categorical encodings, feature generation and feature selection. So these things you need to cover in the feature engineering section. So that's what I had for you guys in this video. I hope you would have liked this entire video, the roadmap for the aspiring data scientist. If yes and if you find this really informative make sure to like this video in the really big number so that it can reach to maximum number of people and again if you are watching any of my video for the very first time and if you are new to my channel then make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon and i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing video related to the big data till then just stay safe stay home take care yourself and your family too